all the local bookstores in my area are doing a book crawl, so I'm gonna go do it. Let's do it. I'm back from the book crawl and I got a whole entire haul and this bag is part of the haul. Look at this. I need someone to carry books around and it's like, it's not hoarding if it's books. And it's like, yeah, it's true. It's true. So let's, let's see what I got. Curious Tides by Pascal LaSalle is a book that I picked up. I saw the cover was like, this is beautiful. And then I was like, let me think about it. And then like five stores later, I'm like, okay, is that book in one of these stores? I need, need to get it because I couldn't stop thinking about it. And so I did pick it up and it sounds really cool. It is a YA book and it's essentially about, at least from what I understand based on like the little, the part in here, is that it's about a healer who's at like a prestigious school and a bunch of like students end up getting washed up like with a tide and unfortunately pass away. But then I think they somehow come back to life and the main character healer ends up with new powers after that happens and so she's kind of like everyone's like oh like what's going on like what's this and so i believe it kind of touches on like power and pr privilege and like all those things and there's also like a secret society and stuff and so i'm like yeah i need to get this and it also has like like designs on here it's got this interesting looking thing inside and so that really just like makes me want to pick book more, book even more because it looks like it's there's a lot of love and care put in here so yeah this is one of them that i picked up there's also free books you heard that right free books that they were giving away and so this one is like rom-com and so i don't know what's in here and we're going to open it together to find out i'm really excited i don't know what it's going to be Oh, that's funny. <laughs> How to end a love story. You know what book I'm reading right now? How to end a love story. So now I have two. That's okay. Yeah, it was free, so that's good. And then also got Weekends with You by Alexander Page. I've never heard of this one, but it looks honestly right up my alley. Let's see. Okay, cool. So basically it looks like there's a heavy focus on like flowers, not only like as actual flowers, but also as metaphors. And the character starts to fall for her flatmate, which I think is really funny because that happened to me and that's my love story. But yeah, so this is, this sounds really good. It is kind of funny though that I, <laughs> I have this book. I had a feeling that was gonna happen, but yeah, I'm happy. Also got one more free book and this one is a YA rom-com. So let's see what's in here. I have not heard of this one. Finally Fits by Marissa Cantor. Ooh, okay, it looks like a fake relationship kind of story. Nice. Okay, these are good, these are good. So those were the surprise books that I got. I, of course, picked up Funny Story by Emily Henry. Very hyped about this one. I hear so many good things about it and it just came out from when I'm filming this. So I saw this in store and was like, oh, I gotta get this. So basically what I understand from this book, it's about a woman and her fiance and the fiance realizes that he doesn't actually love her and he loves his childhood best friend. And so she ends up like meeting the childhood best friend's ex. And I think that they're the romancy people who are like in the book. And so it's supposed to be very like funny, very entertaining and like a beach read, like all Emily Henry books of what I've heard of. And because I've actually never read anything from Emily Henry, I did end up getting Happy Place by Emily Henry, which I'm pretty sure is what she's well known for. I've seen this book before, and this one sounds really fun because it's basically 
these two people and they broke up but they didn't tell their friends that they broke up because they still live together and then they get invited to this like beachy cabin and they pretend to be together and then they actually still like each other so they're pretending to be together even though they were actually together so it's kind of like fake dating in a way which is one of my favorite ends and I hear that this book is one of those good like laugh out loud books that you just want to read at the beach and like have a good time with so I have this Emily Henry book and then this one so I read this one first of course and then this one but I really like her covers I like the font I like how simplistic they are I'm really hyped to be honest and then I also picked up The Fair Folk by Stu Bristow and I'm such a sucker for anything related to fairy lore and fae and all of that so this book is about a woman whose like farm was dying when she was a kid and so I believe that she makes a deal with the fae with the fairies and as we know like there are always a lot of hidden loopholes and you maybe you think you're agreeing to something but it's completely opposite to what you're expecting and so this story has like a bunch of that kind of stuff like weaved in throughout it with the lore and it really gives me like Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies vibes just from like reading this part and it sounds fun apparently there's like this fairy and it just kind of follows her all the way to when she's an adult and then like it, I think it wants whatever it was owed so I think that the cover is pretty cool because it has her when she was like like when she was a kid and then when she's an adult and so yeah this one honestly I think this is, might be the one I'm the most excited for just because it's given Emily Wilde and I am obsessed with Emily Wilde and Emily Wilde number three I just saw this yesterday <laughs> The release date for the third book is February 2025 so it's still a long way away but I'm so excited for it. I saw like the cover reveal and the date reveal and yeah so hopefully this will hold me over in terms of like fairies and fae. This is another free book that I got. This is uh, Let Us Descend by Jasmine Ward and I honestly have not heard of this author before but it seems like she's won some like prizes and stuff and this seems to be a very like heavy kind of book. It's about American slavery and I'm like, oof, like I've never really read anything like that. And I think it's important that I do. And so it was free. I was like, yeah, like I'll, I'll take that. I want a free book. I love free books. So yeah, I get this one as well. Finally picked up these two books by Lauren Nolan. So it's If He Had Been With Me and If Only I Had Told Her. So I think it's a duology. This is the first one. This is the second one. And I have heard that this one is really, really good. I heard the second one's not as good, but it's still worth a read. And so I think the covers are absolutely gorgeous. So from the way I understand it, it's kind of like a second chance kind of romance where these two characters were like inseparable, something happens and they kind of drift apart and they just, they really miss each other. And so there's like some opportunity, I think, for them to become friends again and perhaps lovers again, or I don't know if they were lovers or not, but yeah, I hear that it's really good. It is YA as well, but I mean, I really like YA. YA has been popping off, at least in my opinion recently. Like I've read better YA books than I have like adult fiction books. So yeah, I have really high expectations for these and they're just so gorgeous. And I also saw Fane by Anne Marie McDonald a lot at these like different bookstores that I went to. And I was like, you know what? Like I keep seeing it, it keeps up popping up for me. I think that it's meant to be. Also, it looks like the cover of Credence, doesn't it? I don't know what's up with that, but apparently this is like a Globe and Mail kind of winner book and honestly I don't think I've ever read a book that has like the winner award things in them that I didn't like so I'm like you know what let's do it and this one sounds interesting because the main character this is like a time period book I believe and it's this woman and she has like this like uncurable condition and so her dad is kind of like always there always taking care of her maybe even a little bit too much like I don't think she goes out or does anything but she loves loves to learn and so she has this huge appetite just for learning stuff and so dad kind of breaks custom and hires like a tutor for her and there's also like uh, trying to figure out the cure for her condition and like some family secrets and it just sounds really well done and it's also a bit of a hunk -a -lunk, so I really like having just like a nice big chunky book as well so yeah it looks really cool but it really does look like the cover of Credence. I, I don't know why. So those are all the books that I got um, at this kind of like book crawl event. I also got a bunch of free stuff that I'm gonna show you now. Got this little pin. It says stop hate read a book. I got this really cute like bee bookmark here. That's adorable. Bee a reader. This bookmark of The Great Wave. These adorable stickers. This is 
is a signed print uh, from Ruby Core for uh, the 10 years of Milk and Honey. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's fun. I love this. I'm a huge Ruby Core fan. I've seen her do her poetry readings live and it's so, so good. So having like a signed piece of something just it just makes me so happy and I can't believe it was free like come on really this is amazing so I will end this video off by reading this lovely poem that I have most importantly love like it's the only thing you know how at the end of the day all of this means nothing this page where you're sitting your degree money nothing even matters except love and human connection who you loved and how deeply you love them how you touch the people around you and how much you gave them. Ruby Core. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for coming on this fun little book crawl adventure with me. I hope you had a lot of fun. If you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. That way you get notified anytime a new video comes out. If you enjoyed this video and if you are also really happy that I got a bunch of free books that I'll be able to read and review on my channel, definitely hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!